right? So I'm table two. So, all I can say, my group was the best. <laughs> they were absolutely fantastic. Now, we will have a really frank and open discussion. Yeah. Um, what we established that we've all seen the person of people we hear talking about absent father relationships. We've heard of some have fathers who love them, but they did not show emotion. So it's like they never had hugs from their fathers. Some they love them too much. Also, into the role models, there are times when friends became their role models. Then mothers became their role models. No relations because mother and father disappeared when they were very young. So they didn't have that bond at the time. But good people stepped in in terms of parents, grandparents, or dedicated or designated no relation person became a family member who were there for them. So they became their influential role models to see them through life. Some is gone wrong come back and they've seen where, okay, I can make this better because time heals, okay? We've also talked about when a father is absent, sometimes that can make you be good because, okay, he's not here, but I'm going to make something of my life because I'm going to get on in life, okay? We talked about where morals are broken down where there's no discipline because of this. And again, government influences in this modern world has caused sometimes the fathers to be absent. So a mother has to take over. Can and I just say that in, yeah. in what way government intervention calls fathers to be absent? What am I going to say? What we talked about? Uh, I think um I think that there's a lot of um, intervention. Um, um, a lot of us who are coming from the West Indies and the type of um, uh, and the way things were structured, um, we really wanted to bring your kids up and so on and so forth. And some parents feel that this this has been taken away from them and they have got no control over it. And, of that time, all, all is discord and friction. So you can understand, like, you know. Um, so you, you talk about the culture yeah. that's being taken away, and you kind of got into insulin into the Western culture. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's workplace, the work, work life ethics, okay. where fathers have to go and work. So absent fathers have gone away, or raised a great death, but mothers have to take step in. So, Life has to go on, but it, it does affect yeah. some children. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? The most I spoke about where years ago in some country where the community becomes yeah, part of the role mother issue. You know? <laughs> if you were naughty and you won't tell your parents, um, before you, your parents know about it, someone in the community knows about it. And you get a meeting and you go, well, why, why is that the first meeting you? And you can't tell us to because you were naughty anyway, but you didn't get a support from your parents, you got another meeting. So it causes friction and absenteeism in the family. That sort of thing. Yeah? Also, um, we talk about um, unfinished business with your fathers or whatever. Now, a couple of incidents are, well, okay, it's unfinished, but it's fine. I am not going to kill my word about my father or I'm going to move on from it because that has made me stronger by finding somebody else to fill that role model gap. People talk about actors and sports persons as their role models. But we, well, half of them, they're not, that's not their real role. They're acting. They, when they leave that role in the home, they're a different person. So it's a fantasy sometimes where we see certain persons in the media as their role models. Some like that, it works. He's done very well with his, if he's of his role model person. Okay. That one doesn't minute. work for everybody. One more minute. Anybody, very seldom, quickly. So, somebody from my group is going to say something. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's the culture itself that has been taken away, because if you live in a society, you've got to assimilate it into the other culture. But 
Perhaps we in our own culture has been somehow deliberating, you understand? So, this is where the problem is. You start thinking, well, you know, what I used to do in the West Indies, the way my mom and my dad brought me up, we cannot do that there. Because there are certain things that, that is stopping you from doing it, be it for good or evil. Because perhaps in certain parts of the Caribbean, the kind of discipline would be seen as abuse in this particular society. It would be seen as abuse in this particular society. So of course, that's going to um, impact uh, the relationship because yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to be better. It's going to be better. Okay. okay. One more point. So, no. yeah. sorry. You're the... No. Sorry, carry on. Well, you come here, please. <laughs> yeah. Carry on. So, I'm wrapping up anyway just to say, but well, the question is, does men really need role models? Well, that's a question that I really can't answer at the moment. Maybe later on. Thank you.